Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you five different recipes that are perfect for parties, gatherings, or since it's almost the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl. All of these recipes are so extremely easy to throw together. So I hope you enjoy it. And a little pregnancy update. I am 31 weeks pregnant now, and we are so excited to meet this little baby girl in April, but let's go start cooking. We're beginning today with these honey barbecue meatballs and they only require a few ingredients. So to begin in this bowl, I'm adding one cup of barbecue sauce. You could use any type of barbecue sauce you like or have on hand. And then a third cup of grape jelly. I know that might sound silly, but it is so good in this recipe. And then a third a cup of honey. I had a subscriber suggest me spraying my measuring cups with nonstick spray so the honey doesn't stick and it really does work well. Go ahead and whisk these three ingredients together. I really love how we could use the slow cooker for this specific recipe. It really does simplify things. So to the bottom of my slow cooker, I added our two pounds of frozen homestyle meatballs. Go ahead and add the sauce mixture all over the top of that. Put the lid on and let this cook on high for just an hour, or you could cook it on low for two hours. Once our meatballs are through slow cooking, I like to sprinkle fresh parsley and sesame seeds over the top to make them look really pretty. And then I like to serve these with toothpicks so people could just grab a meatball just like this and enjoy it. These are out of this world good. You just can't have a party or a gathering without chips and queso. So now we're making the popular TikTok queso. To the pan on my stove, I added one pound of ground beef. I'm breaking it up and I'm going to cook this ground beef through. Once it is cooked through, go ahead and remove any excess grease. And then I'm going to bring it over to my nine by 13 baking dish. I'm just using an aluminum baking dish for easy cleanup in the end. I added the ground beef right in there and and I'm going to set it to the side. On this cutting board right here, I am going to cut our eight ounces of Velveeta cheese into cubes. Go ahead and add the Velveeta cheese right in the same pan that we have our ground beef in. Next, you're going to be adding eight ounces of cubed cream cheese along with one 10 ounce can of Rotel. And then you're going to be adding either a four ounce can of diced green chilies, that's what I did, or you could add a four ounce can of sliced jalapenos, whatever your preference is. And then two cups of Mexican style cheese. I found this cheese at my grocery store and it was really good. I've never tried that brand before, but I do suggest it. And then a packet of taco seasoning. You are going to stir this all together. This will bake on 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Every five to eight minutes though, go ahead and pull it out of your oven to give it a good stir until the cheese is completely melty. Now that we have all of our cheese completely melty, the very last thing I'm doing is pouring in two tablespoons of heavy cream. Go ahead and stir this in. This is going to make your queso extra creamy and then it's ready to serve. I topped our queso with fresh onion and cilantro. This recipe will seriously knock your socks off. It is that good. It is so creamy and has extreme amazing flavor. I promise you and your guests will absolutely love this recipe. 
These three ingredient everything bagel seasoning bites are really fun to make. So to begin, I have a can of Crescents right here. I'm going to break it open just like this. I don't know about you, but whenever I break open these rolls, it always scares me. But after I opened it up, I'm going to unroll it on my cutting board and I'm going to cut it in half. So the eight Crescents will turn into four on each side, just like this. And then go ahead and pinch in the seams. Now that we're through with this, I pulled out my turkey smoked sausage right here, or you could use any type of smoked sausage you like, and I'm going to cut it in half. It can't get any simpler than this. So now we have two pieces of our smoked sausage. Back over to our crescents, I'm going to roll the crescent around the sausage just like this. I know so many people right now who are into the everything bagel seasoning, so I poured some of that seasoning onto my blue plate, and now I'm pressing our turkey sausage wrapped in the crescents in that seasoning. It should stick on there really, really well. The last thing you'll do is using a knife, go ahead and cut your sausage into smaller circular rounds. You'll cut them into about 20 smaller rounds total. I grabbed my sheet pan and I lined it with parchment paper. Go ahead and place the Everything Bagel Bites on your sheet pan at this point. This will bake on 350 degrees for about 12 to 14 minutes. Here's what they look like out of the oven, ready to enjoy. I served mine with ketchup, but you could serve yours with different types of mustards or whatever you wanna serve it with. These are the perfect party food because all you have to do is just dip them in the sauce and eat them. They're pretty much almost bite size. Now we're making these chicken bacon ranch pinwheels. To begin this recipe, you'll want about half a pound of cooked shredded chicken. I'm using a rotisserie chicken, but you could use any type of cooked shredded chicken you want. And then go ahead and add eight ounces of cubed softened cream cheese to the chicken, along with a third a cup of ranch dressing. I'm using the Olive Garden Ranch. I do think it tastes really good. I do suggest it. And then mix this all together. I'm using my electric mixer just to make everything super duper easy. Now that we have that mixture well combined, go ahead and add in your one cup of Colby Jack cheese along with three tablespoons of sliced green onions and a half a cup of cooked crumbled bacon. I'm just using these real bacon bits. Stir this all together. To assemble our pinwheels, I'm using three of these large burrito-sized tortillas. I do find the burrito-sized tortillas work best for this recipe, or if you don't have the burrito-sized ones, you could just use the regular ones and they'll still work out. I spread some of that mixture in the center and then I rolled it up and then go ahead and cut them into pinwheels. You really cannot go wrong with these chicken bacon ranch pinwheels. They come together in very minimal time and they are full of flavor. Now we're making these shortcut chicken parmesan sliders and I really do think this recipe might impress you. To my air fryer, I am going to cook up about 15 of these chicken nuggets. You could use any brand of chicken nuggets or chicken tenders you like. You just want them warmed through at this point, so I'm doing it in my air fryer. You could do it in the oven or microwave, whatever you prefer. While we have our nuggets cooking away, I'm going to prepare our Hawaiian sweet rolls. So you are going to want to take them out of the package and cut them in half just like this. Go ahead and set the top half to the side. Mm -hmm. 
I placed the bottom half of our sweet rolls on my sheet pan. Now you're going to place about six slices of provolone cheese over the top of the sweet rolls. Bake this in a preheated oven to 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes to melt the cheese. Now we're going to begin on the melted butter mixture that will go on top. So in this bowl, I have a fourth a cup of melted butter to the melted butter. I added a dash of oregano, garlic, salt, and Italian seasoning. I gave this a really good stir. Now that the cheese is melted on our sweet rolls, I removed it from the oven. Now I'm going to be pouring about a fourth a cup of marinara sauce all over the top of the cheese and spread it out as even as possible. This recipe is just so simple. Now with our chicken nuggets that we grabbed from the air fryer, go ahead and place them over the top of the marinara sauce and then pour an additional fourth a cup of marinara sauce over the top of the chicken nuggets. And then you are going to add six more slices of provolone cheese to the top and then place the top of the sweet rolls on top of that and then pour the butter mixture over that. And then you are going to sprinkle a fourth a cup of Parmesan on cheese over that. This will bake in your oven for an additional 10 to 12 minutes or until the cheese is melty. Here they are out of the oven. They are just so cheesy and flavorful. The first time I actually ever heard about this recipe, I was so skeptical about it, but they are so unbelievably good. My entire family loves them. They make for a perfect appetizer or dinner. I hope you found a recipe for yourself today and I'd love to have you here. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.